Hello everyone, my name is Marina and I'm a holiday addict. This is a short video about our holiday in Slovakia. We went there in December 2019 for Christmas, just before all the hassle with pandemic and COVID started in January 2020. We started our holiday with Bratislava. And this video, I give you a couple of pointers that um, you don't make the same mistakes as we did. Uh, some of the mistakes cost us money, some of them just time, but maybe this help you next time you go to Slovakia or maybe somewhere else because you know sometimes rule apply to everywhere you go first of all I would like to mention the weather of course we went to Slovakia for white Christmas and we expected this and we end up with this we wanted white Christmas and we end up with rain and well, we know the weather changing everywhere, but before you go, always check the weather. You won't, it won't change your destination, but maybe it will change the clothes you will take with you. A great advantage of um, Bratislava city center is compactness, which means you combine visiting museums, historical center, and all the traditional restaurants in one go. In Bratislava city centre, you can literally walk everywhere. And this is, will be my first advice to you. Do not book any trips when you're there. You will see there will be a lot of guys running around the square offering you different types of trips. Mini trains, bus trips, but, and they're going to take you up in the castle. This is what we did. It cost us 10 euros per person, but castle only about 15-20 minutes walk. And it was great waste of money for us. And what's the good about walking to the castle, walking back, you can see all these little cute streets on the way down and way back. If you do like different kind of trips, so you're thinking to take one, the best thing probably will be for you to take a free walking tour because the guys are very good and they can give you some information and pointers which you would never find on Google. But one thing, you will know they're not free. You still have to leave some tip because this is how they work, they work on tips. Normally when I take them, I always leave 10 pounds or 10 euros for an adult or, and five for a child. We didn't take any trips this time because like I mentioned previously, weather wasn't that great. We just walk everywhere ourselves. Because we was there end of December, just before Christmas, we just uh, catch a little bit of Christmas market or whatever left of it. And we really enjoyed it. Some people said if you've seen one of them, you've seen them all. But I wouldn't say so. I've been in France, I've been in Belgium, and this one's slightly different. Not because the souvenirs are a little bit different, but food and a lot, a lot of different types of mulled wine. You probably get like six, seven of different types of mulled wine. You get a glass, which is really, really pretty. You have to pay two euros as a deposit. You use it as long as you want, whatever, for a day, for a week, and then you can bring it back and get you two euros back. Or you can keep it as a souvenir because it's quite nicely decorated with old Bratislava and pictures on it. And the food is quite nice as well. It's a little bit different. We try very, very large. It's sort of like a big potato rosti with all the bacon bits and cheese on the top. And it was really nice. It's very, very meaty. It's a lot of different types of meat and pork and chicken, a lot of hot food. Not very expensive, but not exactly very, very cheap. You pay sort of between four and five years for a dish, but portions are quite large. Another thing I would recommend to do in Bratislava is ice skating. 
it's quite nice they have very very large ring right in the middle of um, square next to the christmas market ice skating is really cheap you pay for your rent for skate and you, it's unlimited time you can skate as long as you like and we we take an advantage of it Dominating the hillside um, in Bratislava is a Bratislava castle. You can't miss it. We visited it, but frankly, we were slightly disappointed because it's actually not an old castle. It's new and they're still renovating it, still building. There's a lot of building go was going on in 2019. We found a slightly soulless, but the views from there was amazing. So I will recommend just walk up for the views and walk down because although like i mentioned before little streets are very very lovely and very cute another very popular place to visit in bratislava is ufo tower again you can't miss it anywhere it's dominated and it's on the seventh largest bridge in europe you can go up in the tower and if it's a nice day, clear day, you can see really far, you can see the hills. Also, there is a restaurant there. You, it's a fine dining restaurant with the prices too much, but they have a tasting menu, which means you pay 40 euros and you get set menu and you can try different type of Slovakian dishes. But we never visit UFO because of the raining. What's the point to go up if you can't see anything? If you visit Bratislava in the different times, uh, maybe spring or summer, you can actually skywalk on the UFO tower if you're really an adrenaline junkie, because I presume it's going to be quite scary. <laughs> also, Bratislava is one of the greenest capital in Europe, which means that it's tons of green parks and there's tons of lovely walks. So if you're not into Christmas markets, Go there in the summer and you will enjoy it. Now I would like to talk about Bratislava with the food. It wasn't as cheap as we expected, but not ridiculously expensive. And it's very, very meaty. There are some dishes, but I think if you are vegan or vegetarian, you quite kind of struggle there. And I cannot mention the one of the restaurant, which is called, I don't know if I pronounce it right. I have to actually read it. <laughs> it's called Con Conditore Cormuth Cafe. It's mostly for cakes and um, uh, coffee and hot chocolate, but it's amazing. When you walked in, you do have slightly thinner that's been created just for tourists. You pay 10 euros each for a tasty menu and 10 euros each included cake and a drink. Hot chocolate there is very, very thick. It's not like we used to in the UK. I like it, but not it's not everybody else's cup of tea, but they have really, really nice uh, coffee. And the cakes, the design of the cakes, they just look amazing. And they actually taste as good as they look. I know some people say, no, oh, it's a tourist trap and you don't get very good review for, from some people on the TripAdvisor, but I really recommend it. Go there just for the view of the cafe. <music> we spent only one full day in Bratislava. We plan to spend two. But like I mentioned before, rain stopped our, broke our plans. It was very heavy rain next day, so we decided to leave earlier and head to the mountains to Poprad because we really wanted to see the snow. If you want to know more about Bratislava, go to my website, holidayaddict.co.uk, where we stayed in Bratislava in boutique Posodium Apartments. It was really lovely. Uh, our room could fit up to six people, it was only three of us. But it's really nice, very cool place and only 10 minutes walk from a center. 
Thank you for watching. Don't miss my second video about Slovakia. It's all about Poprad mountains and what you can do if you not like to ski. So we don't do skiing, but we still went to the ski resort. So please don't miss it.